Welcome everyone back to weekly weather updates and in today's video we're going to have a look at the latest from the live radar then we'll go through the GFS, the GM, the Eastern BF and the ensembles and we'll also have a look at the 5 day precipitation and temperature from the UK Met Office run through this upcoming Easter weekend into the start of next week. Now we have pretty warm and relatively dry weather over the next 3 or 4 days but by Easter Sunday into Easter Monday rain is going to be spreading in widely from the west and it does look like we're in for quite an unsettled period next week and perhaps for the foreseeable future as we are seeing uh, quite a consistent signal now of proper northern blocking returning um, for everyone um, with northern blocking bringing more northerly and easterly flows which aren't incredibly cold this time of year but are chillier and will be holding those temperatures down and giving increased precipitation as well so have a look at that in detail in the second half of the video so do remember if you enjoy my videos make sure you like and subscribe and remember to follow me on twitter as well the links in the description so we do start on the live radar you can see there is some rain pushing into the west now it's not amazingly heavy um, but it is pretty persistent in a few areas now we've got some rain moving into parts of republic of ireland northern ireland and western parts of scotland now this is the weather front that is approaching the high pressure block we have over the top of the uk um, that is bringing in southeasterly winds quite warm air um, and this weather front isn't going to make much progress so if you are east of this weather front and worried that you're going to be seeing rain it's unlikely that it does push eastwards and if it does it will be lighter and it will sort of degrade away and generally more likely just to be some thicker cloud um, and this weather front will sort of decay away and sort of move uh, move away and, and sort of dissipate really um, and we're going to see this sort of consistent uh, sort of consistency over the next few days pretty warm and dry in the east with sunshine temperatures getting into the low 20s perhaps further westwards thicker cloud with some outbreaks of rain but where we don't see that rain, we see a bit of sunshine, we're still in a relatively warm air mass, so we'll still see those temperatures get up into the mid to high teens. So it's not all all, all lost in the west, um, but definitely there is more favoured for more precipitation and thicker cloud. Um, and if I do put the temperatures on briefly, around lunchtime as I'm recording this, you can see, again, the warmest temperatures are further eastwards and further southwards. Even across sort of north and east England, it is pretty warm indeed. Um, Hitting up towards the mid to high teens, um, as anywhere really east of those weather fronts and the thicker cloud is going to get pretty mild and warm indeed. So if you do now have a look at the UK Met Office run, have a look at precipitation and temperature over the next five days. Now you can see as I'm recording this in the early afternoon, you can see those weather fronts pushing in from the west. And if we do run it through, of course, this evening, you see those weather fronts sort of decay away and don't really make any progress eastwards. Um, yes, some precipitation may get into the far southwest and maybe parts of Wales, but nothing too crazy. And by tomorrow afternoon, we're just going to see a few showery outbreaks, especially further westwards. Once again, the potential for some thundery activity within that. But again, those will be quite localised. Uh, it's not real widespread uh, thunderstorm risk. But there is still risk of heavy showers and thunderstorms now if we do move beyond that um over the course of friday evening into early hours of saturday you can see a few showers across scotland but nothing too crazy and just some thicker cloud elsewhere and through saturday afternoon weather fronts approaching from the west but generally most areas are pretty dry a little bit cloudy though but i'm sure we will see some cloud breaks and a bit of sunshine and blue skies Sunday though is when weather fronts are going to break through the high pressure and you can see by early hours of Sunday, Easter Sunday, you can see big low pressure system arriving from the west, heavy rain for Ireland, Northern Ireland, perhaps the far west of Scotland, maybe the far southwest and maybe parts of western Wales as well. But for the majority it should be dry for Easter Sunday, for through the evening heavy rain and weather fronts spread through and by Monday all areas are in a showery air mass with a lot of showers hours and um, potentially some persistent rain across central and eastern england through monday and that rain is just going to pep up through monday evening and sort of start to move east uh, sort of uh, east to west um as the uh, high pressure does build to our north and start to bring in an easterly flow again more shower regime there's a lot of showers around could be dry for some of course there will be dry weather around but it will be cooler and generally more unsettled 
Now, if we go and go to max temperatures, you can see through uh, today, temperatures once again peaking around 19, 20 degrees. Pretty decent indeed. And then through Friday, those temperatures once again will rise. Um, could be the warmest day of the year tomorrow, seeing temperatures widely in the mid to high teens, if not getting towards 20, 21, 22 degrees across the spine of England down into the central southern England, East Anglia, London and the south east. Through Friday into Saturday, Saturday again, potential for decent temperatures, 19, 20 degrees quite widely once again across England and Wales, and potentially in a few spots in Ireland and Northern Ireland could be seeing high teens maybe getting up towards uh, sort of 19, 20 degrees. And Sunday still could see some decent temperatures across England and Wales, 18 to 20 degrees as possible, quite muggy out there, but further westwards, Across Ireland, you can see only 10, 11, 12, maybe 13 degrees. That's where the front's moving in. But as we'll see by Monday afternoon, you can see those temperatures are really dropping. 16, 17 degrees maybe in the fast east where we do have less precipitation and cloud. But across central England where we do have precipitation and cloud, maybe only 9 or 10 degrees and a few areas where escape that a little bit but still cloudy 13 14 degrees so big drop in temperatures um very uh, very much cooler by monday and again overnight tuesday we could see sink of frost potentially across parts of ireland northern ireland maybe scotland as well where we have a cooler air mass moving back in <laughs> So if we do now have a look at the GFS, have a look at the longer term, we'll be able to see it's going to be pretty unsettled and pretty blocked. Now, this sort of pattern in the middle of winter would be giving us bitterly cold conditions, widespread frosts, uh, ice days potentially, and heavy snowfall. But, being the middle to end of April, it's generally going to be around average to colder than average potentially, just a little bit chilly um, and quite unsettled and rainy and cloudy as well. But you can't rule out some decent temperatures because of course the sun is pretty strong this time of year, it's as strong as if it was in the middle of August now. So any sunshine we do get out there, it can lift those temperatures up quite significantly. So you can see that high pressure building over the coming days and those weather fronts out in the west with low pressure towards Iceland trying to break through. And by Easter Sunday, they finally do and we see those greens, low pressure moving back in. More low pressure trying to push in off the Atlantic and high pressure building up to our north and we're seeing a bit of a cut off low towards Europe and all this is going to do is just spiral showers in from the east, especially for the southern parts of the country, but not exclusively because we don't really have particularly high pressure anywhere nearby. Beyond that, we stay with high pressure to our north, continue with an easterly flow. At times, it could be decent if we do see the high pressure over the top of the UK. You can see actually quite a warm air mass potentially at 312 hours. But it will only last a short period of time. As you can see, high pressure moving back towards Greenland. And we start to go into a more of a northerly flow. Colder air coming in from the north. But once again, it's not massively cold. It just won't be particularly warm. We won't be seeing high teens, low 20s. More likely to see low teens, maybe mid teens max. Some areas struggling under the cloud and rain with a sort of temperatures in around 10 or 11 degrees potentially. So not looking too great from the GFS with this northern blocking. Now if we do look at the GM run, see how that does compare. Once again, high pressure over the top of the UK, getting pushed away by low pressure towards Sunday and Monday. And then we see that cut off low develop just to our south, spiraling in showers in from the east and high pressure just to our north. Lots of these little low pressure systems bringing enhanced areas of rain and shower. Hours, and we just stay really unsettled, spiralling in showers in for the east and the southeast. And of course, with warmer air across the near continent, if we have a look at those upper air temperatures, we could see decent temperatures in the day, perhaps with some sunshine. But of course, with low pressure around, it's going to be showery. Thunderstorm activity is going to be on the increase. And yeah, we could be seeing lots of imports of heavy rain and showers in from the south and southeast. So, yes. We could see some warmer temperatures at times, but it is likely to be very showery um, and potentially cooler if we do see that air direction come in more from a north to easterly flow instead of sort of south to southeasterly like this GM run is showing. So we do now have a look at the ECBF, see how that does compare. Again, high pressure over the top of the UK, low pressure pushing it away in from the west, and then we do see low pressure just dominate over towards Europe, and these small low pressure systems bring it in um, showery activity, and right towards the end of the run, massive northern blocking with easterly winds, so and you can see actually quite a cold air mass is starting to push in from Scandinavia. Again, it's not massively cold, it's middle to end of April, but it will be 
feeling chilly with that air coming in off the uh, still pretty cold North Sea. Yes, warmer air masses are towards Europe, but of course temperature clashes like this could spark heavier showers, more persistent bands of rain and thunderstorms. So yes, upper air temperatures are not going to look too bad as we'll see with the ensembles in a minute. They're going to be around average, maybe slightly above, below average at times, but because of the showery regime and cloud amounts, it's not going to feel completely warm at all. So we do have a look at the ECBF ensembles through the uh, anomaly charts. I've we'll looked at these for quite a while, but we'll have a look at them today because it does emphasise northern blocking quite well. So we do run out to day seven because we pretty much know what's going to be happening over the next seven days. You can see high pressure to our north, cut off lows over the top, just to our south or west, spiralling in showers. None of these runs have high pressure directly over the top of the UK with the deep reds over the top of the UK. So settled conditions aren't going to be too far away, but they're not going to be over the UK. If we move to day 10, very similar high pressure over the top or to the north of the UK. Bringing in generally easterly or southeasterly flows and even fall down here, bringing in a very cold northerly flow. Could even be seeing frosts and wintry showers across Scotland with that. But generally low pressure over the top or just to our south, spiraling in easterly, southeasterly wind. So it's not going to be massively cold, but it's not going to feel warm because even though the air direction is from a south southeasterly direction, low pressure, as I said, with clouds and showers and storms, it's going to keep those temperatures down. If we do run out all the way to 360 hours right towards the end of the run. High pressure over the top and to the north of the UK, generally not um, with the centre of the high over the top, meaning more of an easterly or southeasterly flow, showers, storms, unsettled conditions. So yes, high pressure is going to be around, but it's going to be in a northern blocking capacity. If this was all shifted a few hundred miles further southwards, um, or 500 miles further south with that high pressure position over the top of the UK, these cutoff lows towards Mediterranean, Spain, um, countries like that, we would be quite settled and warm, similar to what we have at the moment and what we had towards the end of March. But unfortunately, with this blocking further northwards, it's going to keep things pretty chilly uh, and unsettled and rainy, as I said. Now, if we do have to finish up, have a look at the ensembles. Latest GFS on SOB, which you can see temperatures are well above average at the moment, and then they return to around slightly above, slightly below average at times. But of course, with shower activity increasing towards the last third of April, as I said, those temperatures will be on, or will be falling, uh, with precipitation increasing. Even though it's only sort of a 5 degree temperature change at 850 HPA, it could be higher than that, it's maybe 10 degree temperature change at the surface. If we have a look at the sea level pressure, you can see high pressure at the moment, but longer term, generally lower pressure, down to 1,010 millibars, which isn't massively deep, it's not like stormy weather, but it's just generally unsettled. And if we have a look at those two meter temperatures, you can see over the next three or four days, high teens, maybe 20 degrees, but by next week, temperatures peaking 13 to 15 degrees, some have it warmer than that, others back down to sort of 10 or 11, so pretty chilly indeed, it all depends on shower amounts and cloud as well, which is something we do need to keep an eye on. Of course, we can't make any two massive assertions at this stage because it's still quite far away, but we can have a look um, at the general pattern of blocking to our north. If we finish up, have a look at the ECMDF ensembles. Again, very similar pattern, warm, five degrees above average at the moment, and then falling towards maybe slightly above average from the ECMDF ensembles, but keeping things pretty unsettled in the long term. A lot of precipitation spikes, and yeah, generally will be chillier than average. So yeah, not looking great if you want dry, warm, uh, sort of consistent weather in the long term. It's very much going to be up and down. There will be warm days over the next couple of weeks. There will be days where it could get up towards 20 degrees, but there's also likely to be days where it's only 10, 11, 12 degrees with a lot of showers, persistent bands of rain, and maybe some storms around as well. Very up and down, unsettled sort of conditions to end April. It doesn't look, um, it's, this isn't too, un, uh, uh, too sort of, uh, too out of the ordinary really, but given everyone, this time of year is looking forward to some dry weather for bank holidays, for Easter. Um, and although Easter is generally going to be decent, especially further eastwards you are, uh, it does look like the end of April is going to be a little unsettled uh, with a lot of showers around. It's not a complete washout by any means uh, at this stage. Could be some washout days, not massive westerly um, storms coming in, but it is generally unsettled. So anyway, thanks for watching. 
hope you enjoyed make sure you enjoy the next few days while it is still pretty warm and dry for most um, and i'll see you again for another video soon